Something a lot of people don't realize is just how many times Floyd Mayweather has lost the first few rounds of his fights. He's been outpowered, outboxed, outpaced, and outsmarted. But somehow, he's always found a way back, taking away his opponent's best weapons and forcing them to fight where he feels comfortable. And this is where Floyd's true strength lies. When Floyd fought Zab Judah, he faced an opponent with incredible speed and an unorthodox strategy. The most common positioning taught to southpaws is to place their lead foot on the outside of their opponents. This positions their rear hand closer to their competitor and provides them extra protection. But Zab fought from a more challenging, but equally dangerous position, placing his lead foot inside and angling in to open up Floyd's guard. This setup let him step inside to move past Floyd's attack and then catch him as he landed. Zab eventually landed an uncalled knockdown off of a lead hook. But Floyd figured out Zab's setup, and he began to step inside Zab's punches to smother him before he could take a superior angle. Once he had negated Zab's best attack, Floyd began to execute his defensive footwork off of his own attacks. Just like any fight, there were a great deal more variables at play. But it's an easy argument to make that Mayweather taking away his opponent's best weapon played a big factor. When Mayweather faced Maidana, it turned out to be one of his most challenging fights. Maidana had great success for near the full first half of the fight, effectively driving Mayweather to the ropes and squaring up in a wide stance so Floyd had no room to escape. Mayweather often goes to the ropes on purpose, taking his time to jab and counter as he heads back comfortably, confident that he has the ability to escape at will. This is as much a psychological game as anything else. That being said, staying in the corner has its benefits. It eliminates variables, taking away angles from which to counter, and negating escape routes. Woodley has recently used the same tactic to great success in the octagon. Floyd escapes the ropes by ducking and pivoting, often knocking his opponents off balance by staying low and keeping a wide base. But Maidana squared up and kept his feet wide, opening himself up but cutting off Mayweather's escape routes. He then smothered and wrestled to set up his punches. Maidana avoided the temptation to headhunt, pounding at Mayweather's body until he lowered his guard. Mayweather was taking more damage in a few rounds than he normally took in an entire fight. And the fascinating thing about this fight is how many different ways Mayweather tried to adjust before he successfully took control of the match. Mayweather began by taking the advice of his corner and jabbing more to the body. Jabbing the sternum takes the air out of an opponent, and it's one of the most effective weapons in Mayweather's arsenal. This would pay off later, but Maidana's proficiency at shifting as he punched allowed him to still drive Mayweather to the ropes. Mayweather next tried circling and lateral movement, rebounding side to side like Willie Pep. This gave him some breathing room, but Maidana's jab kept putting him back into the corner. Mayweather then began using collar ties and underhooks to turn himself off of the ropes. This was a more effective strategy, but although Mayweather was escaping the ropes quicker, he was still taking damage. Most fighters would have run out of options far before this point, but Mayweather is not most fighters. Maidana's strategy relied on getting close to Floyd to smother him, burying his head into his chest to protect himself unbalance Mayweather, and smother his punches. So Mayweather began leaning on Maidana as he charged at him, taking the power out of his blows and discouraging him from bull rushing. He also used a forearm block to stop Maidana from burying his head on his shoulder. Using this defensive position again discouraged Maidana from charging in, as he would essentially be running his chin right into Floyd's forearm or elbow. Floyd then began framing off of these blocks, and even his punches. keeping his strikes extended to control Maidana's balance and distance. This finally gave Floyd the space he needed to fight. With Maidana's safer wrestling positions denied him, Mayweather could now tie him up when he got pushed against the ropes. 
More and more, Maidana was forced to fight in the center of the ring. And over the last few rounds, Floyd picked him apart. People often credit Floyd's ability to outlast and outpace his opponents as one of the biggest factors in his success. Maidana's stamina did play a large part in him fading over the last half of the fight, but it's often ignored what a huge part Floyd's techniques and tactics play in wearing down his competitors. Without Mayweather's body jabs and his ability to turn an opponent's wrestling against him, Maidana may have kept up his pace for two or three more rounds and won the fight on the scorecards. But this is why Floyd has never lost. He's a master tactician, able to identify his opponent's strengths and turn them into weaknesses. Floyd's unique style with his pivoting ducks and Philly shell is impressive, but it has weaknesses that can be exploited just like any other style. Instead, it's Floyd's ability to adapt quickly that sets him apart. By the way, watching the Maidana fight, I couldn't help thinking about what would happen if Mayweather had fought a prime Roberto Duran. Let everyone know your thoughts below and suggest fighters you'd like to see broken down next. By the way, I have a surprise coming up for you guys. One of Custom Auto's fighters is gonna do a video breakdown of the Peekaboo style's best combinations for us, so stay tuned for that. From the Modern Martial Artist, this has been David Christian, wishing you happy training.